this video I'll be uh, talking about the success criteria and exemplar pages again uh, and today's slide is uh, the analysis of the design context. Now if you study product design for a while uh, or you're in your final year in year 10 or 11 or you know it could even be year 12 or year 13 if you're moving through to key stage 5 um, you're probably quite familiar with being given a design context or a, um, a task uh, something to solve or a problem it might be called I suppose at the start of a project and it's often your task when you first start off designing even as a professional designer to analyze the uh, the context that you've been given or the problem that you've been given now in this example I'm going to be talking about what you need to be doing to uh, to achieve this or some some tips that you can do along the way so um, I'm going to be using an example here of an, uh, an old um, context on the legacy specification now the old GCSE specification uh, and this is one around uh, traditional products and um, talking about uh, the use of cultural themes I suppose so in the example here you can see um, the first thing I, I asked my students to do really is to read through the context in, in quite detail and make sure they highlight all the key words so in this case um, the, the student has highlighted the fact that uh, traditional products is a, an important factor. Uh, he's given some countries where these sort of tr traditional products are produced. Uh, he's highlighted fair trade as a, as a key information piece there. Uh, he's talked about new manufacturing technologies, which is how the, the product needs to be made. Um, and he's, he's highlighted that he obviously needs to maintain the ethnic influences, presumably from Africa, India, South America, China, wherever it is he's, he's chosen. In the second part, the design task there, he's highlighted the fact that he needs to make a new product, he's highlighted that it needs to be suitable for the UK market and suitably packaged. Okay, so he's, he's picked out a lot of criteria there. Now, after he's highlighted those, he hasn't just stopped there, he's also gone and uh, defined kind of what that means to him in the project. So um, he's, he's highlight, highlighted traditional products there and he's put um, uh, from generations, tradition is the technique or culture that's been handed down. So he's showing an understanding of, of the keywords, and he's done that for all the different keywords that he's highlighted there. So it gives us a really good understanding, or it shows the examiner or the moderator that we know what we're talking about. We we know what um, the brief is about, or we know how to develop the brief from this context. Now he's gone on from there, and he's then gone to analyse this further. So. Once you've worked out what the, the context is asking you to do effectively, what you've then got to, to explain do how you're going to plan to, to manage the task or to, to meet the task, okay? And what I like to um, uh, get my students to do is to mind map this. Now, you might be quite familiar with the term Access FM. Now, this is a series of uh, design technology keywords uh, that you can use to help kind of pick out the, uh, the key things that you need to talk about. So, um, Access FM. Uh, is simply an acronym that, that and each of the letters in the acronym stands for aesthetics which is uh, what the product should look like cost consumer as in who you're making the product for um, the environment and it could also include ergonomics as well as in the case of the student uh, safety size function as in what the product needs to do and manufacture so once you've read the context it's then a good idea to analyze it further and unpick the context using these criteria. so if we if we pick on aesthetics for for this task for for example um, the, the, the student here has highlighted the fact that it needs to relate to China in some way because presumably that's his chosen cultural context um, he's, he's picked blue or red as a, as a um, a colour there because um, he's, he's later sort of thought about his consumer and they're his favourite colours. I mean, he could also mention the fact that red and the importance of the colour red to Chinese culture as well could also be an important factor. So you can go through um, each of these things, each of these criteria, and what you're basically working out is is um, what you need to to know in order to succeed in the project. So for aesthetics, if we're, we're talking about products that relate to China, we might need to make a, a mood board or we might need to uh, research Chinese culture or traditional uh, Chinese products to actually find out a little bit about them, their designs, their styles, their traditions, all this sort of stuff that helps us work out the aesthetics uh, that we're going to do. If we're talking about uh, costs, for example, we might have to uh, find out the cost of materials in the department. We might have to work out how much um, labour time is uh, involved in the, the production of the product. Uh, we might e also have to work, work out from our consumer, our chosen uh, user or consumer, uh, what the sort of budgetary requirements we've got. So 
what we've done obviously we've got the context we've broken down the keywords we've uh, worked out the definition of the keywords and then we've then focused on producing a mind map to help us unpick the uh, criteria further now something I really like to highlight as well is making sure that the, um, the my students have also highlighted and explained the key what I call mess issues so mess issues being moral environmental social and sustainability issues okay you might have a, a different acronym for these but basically this is these are the important factors that obviously surround everyone designers we've all got a, a moral compass and a, a, a uh, we have to think about these these relevant issues when we're designing and that's one other thing that I'd like to see in uh, in this page now one extra thing um, that I like as well as you can see right at the bottom left hand corner of the screen there is put blue hyperlink so what the consumer the um, student has done in this particular case is he's linked off any key uh, information he's taken from the internet because ultimately the work needs to be our own unless we are referencing research material because we, we, we can't plagiarize work we have to make sure that everything is our own so he's obviously got a hyperlink there to fair trade there's probably more revision uh, material or, or appendix of information based on fair trade and obviously he's, he's researched some new manufacturing technologies again which could go in his appendix so that is uh, in a nutshell how you can analyze the context. Design context.